Our top story tonight, Senate bill number 435 has been cleared by the Senate and now goes to the full house for debate. Senator Paige Cortez first brought the bill to increase fines for speeders on the Atchafalaya Basin Bridge. It's on fast track in Louisiana's legislature. News 15's Ashley Hamilton joins us live in studio tonight after speaking to Senator Cortez and others on the views as the bill makes its way to the floor for approval. Ashley, what more can you tell us tonight on this bill? Jeff, the first offense for speeders on the highway in the state is a fine that's not more than $175 or imprisonment, but that doesn't seem to slow drivers down. Senators in Louisiana want to crack down on speeding. Some tell me safety is their number one priority on the road and decreasing the number of accidents. In 2021, there were 269 accidents on a Chafalaya Basin Bridge, two people being killed. DOTD reported that going 60 miles per hour would take 18 minutes on the bridge. Senator Paige Cortez hopes by creating the Senate Bill 435 on the bridge, drivers will begin to slow down. Going 80 versus 65 saves you two minutes. So six minutes out of your life to slow down in a heavily um, traveled area with a lot of 18 wheelers. If passed, the fine will be five times the normal rate. Senator Fred Mill says he supports putting cameras on the bridge, saying he's spoken to residents who fear driving on the bridge. If anybody drives that basin, it has become a very, very more hazardous speedway than ever. And uh, the public is demanding that something's done. I mean, they're just demanding it. The calls I get on that basin, it, it's pretty scary. Placing cameras along the bridge will monitor your driving from one end of the bridge to the other within the bill. Tyrone Lewis is all for putting cameras on the bridge, but knows it will come with backlash. Me personally, I feel like it's a, you know, a good idea, but uh, you know, people going to have their opinion on it and stuff like that, but I feel like it's going to stop you know, a lot of car crashes and uh, accidents. If there's an accident on the bridge, you could be stuck for hours. For Andrew Toops, he believes the bill will only make the 18-mile bridge more dangerous. People are just going to slow down when they see the cameras and only do that, and then they'll go start going fast again. And I think things get more dangerous when you have rapid changes in acceleration. People do speed. They go too fast. It's scary on the bridge. I just don't think that's the solution. Senator Cortez tells me he aims to improve safety on the bridge. If the bill passes, speeding over the Chafalaya Basin could be close to $1,000. Back to you at the desk, Jeff. Thank you, Ashley. Well, the proposed bill would require more signs to be installed and cameras to track how fast drivers are going. If the full house approves later this week without any amendments, the measure would then be sent to the governor for his decision on whether to sign it into law.